Michelle Bear with Art Moose, and we have Nick Mayer with us today, who's going to take us on a journey under the sea. <laughs> he has brought all of his fun fish paintings, uh, but let's first talk about how you got your start in uh, the art world. Uh, well, I mean, I've been fishing ever since I was a kid, and just, you know, always interested in, uh, you know, catching frogs, like I'm sure a lot of kids did growing oh, up, yeah, and stuff like that, and then uh, went on to study marine biology, and uh -huh. um, worked as a marine biologist in a bunch of different capacities and eventually moved, you know, it's an expression of my passion for fishing and the environment. And just so the passion moved. for fish came first and uh -huh. then the passion for art. Right, right. Followed so that. they both feed off each other, the science and fishing and art, they all kind of spawn off each other. You were saying you were working on some ships and... Yeah, yeah, I worked on a commercial fishing boat up in Alaska and, uh, oh. you know, like Deadliest Catch and any, actually any fell scare... overboard. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So, in, in the rough waters and Yeah, all. yeah, it was freezing cold. We, I slid on, we blew a hydraulic hose and I slid all the way across the deck and went flying into the water and the captain didn't even know I fell in so I saw the boat going away from what? me. It was pretty scary. Yeah. And how did they get you? They just scoop you up? or how? They... Uh, I swam over to a different boat that uh, the guy had a, a line hanging off of his boat and I swam over to that boat and climbed in. There was a few things like that, kind of close calls that just made me just feel like, you know, you only live once. I should just do what I love, what you, you know. Love. Well, let's take a look at some mm -hmm. of the stuff you love. What do we have here? So this was a commission of a Guadalupe bass that I did. I, just, I do the pencil sketch first, okay. and then this is the oh, finished that's the product. Okay. Yep. So we've got the work. So, wow, the detail is, I mean, you have to draw every yeah, little. Yeah, I draw every scale, and then I paint every scale. <laughs> How? I count every scale, because every fish has a unique number of no. scales along the lateral line, so you have to, I count all those. Oh, I like this guy. Yeah, it's a blue lobster. And they're really that color? You know, they're, I think they're one in a million uh, that are, just happen to be born like that, of that variety. Wow. Yep. This was another commission, yeah, I did of a coelacanth for a, a couple that were both marine biologists. Oh. It's a West Indian Ocean coelacanth. That's the finished painting. Uh, there was a, a young guy in our town, I think he was like five years old, who knew I painted fish and asked me to give him some lessons and ah. he painted this fish for a, a national contest. Well, that's a smart kid. Go to the pro. Yep. You're gonna enter. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm fr I grew up on the coast in Rhode Island, so that's where I get my uh, ocean inspiration. But I live up in uh, in Vermont now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is gorgeous. So that's a brook trout. That's a fish that I modeled after a fish that I caught in my you actually, hometown. Okay, so you, I was yep. going to say, how many of these have you actually seen, yeah. held? And, but I some prefer of them to catch the fish first and then paint it. But I'm assuming you didn't catch this one though. No, <laughs> no, that, that's the biggest watercolor painting I've ever made. That's a, a humpback whale um, that was recently sold out of the J. Russell Genetian Gallery oh, in right. Connecticut. And that's one of those. That was featured in the Fidelity Investments show in Rhode Island. That's a paper nautilus. They're really a peculiar creature. Actually, this the inspiration for this was I was down in uh, Baja, Mexico, and I found that shell on the beach, and I was like, what the heck is this? Yeah. And it turns out that there's an octopus that kind of lives in that. They put their eggs in it, and then they send it off, and it goes floating away, and they go back to living on the bottom. What? And they, they, it floats away, and the eggs hatch. Yeah. It's a rooster fish. A little scary. Uh -huh. They're a great game fish of the tropical Pacific. Would you eat something like that? Or I don't that's think not that they're so great to not eat. Not tasty. Uh, yeah, some of those really hard fighting fish. More beautiful. Are, yeah, yeah. Oh, and so this is kind of a beginning look at how... Yeah, I do a lot of sketching before I, you know, before I get started with the paint. I feel like, you know, I have to kind of work it all out in my head and I, you know, make the pencil drawing and make sure that's all right before okay. I get started with the paint. And then nice. I just start laying layers yeah, of Yeah, save yourself coloring. time because yep. you, you mess up one scale right, on the... <laughs> right. Oh, this is... So I just oh. keep gradually adding like a layer in, let it dry, put another layer in, and then I do the fine details at the very end. Wow. Uh-huh. 
I mean, the detail is just amazing. Oh, and I, so you do have, a, you've published a few books, I hear. This is my second book, yeah, okay. this is a Fish ABC's book that I just actually just got an agent for at this uh, event. Did your kids inspire you to do a, a little bit, you know, the sort of Where's Waldo thing that all the kids seem to like right now. I hit, uh, the, there's a fish for each letter of the alphabet, mm -hmm. and um, each fish has the letter hidden in the fish, so this is A for Atlantic salmon. Oh, that's gorgeous. The Y, I see the Y. Don't tell anyone, let them find it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got some grants. One of them was from the um, National Endowment for the Arts, and okay. uh, we dressed up this concrete wall that was kind of unsightly and put a, put a nice... Uh, it's a very different painting on concrete then for... Or we... Yeah, I've done a couple of giant murals like that, and um, you know, it's just a different style. I kind of like being, you know, painting Upright. big like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm big. You know? it's, more permanent. Ooh, workspace? Yep, this is my studio. And nice and organized. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I have to be pretty careful not to, you know, spill the paint. This is a show I was in at uh, Save the Bay in Rhode Island. Very cool. Great organization. Oh. Oh, so this is one of my first licensing deals was uh, doing some design work for Rock River Rods. This one was kind of nice because I got to uh, field test the rods after ah, they were made. Yeah. Um, this was my first book, um, Catalina Island Dive Buddies, where uh, it's a field guide to the fish of Catalina Island, California, and so uh, it's focused for divers. This is um, the book on the shelf at uh, the uh, Aquarium of the Pacific. Did you have a lot of these fish already painted, or did you have to go no, in and look at them? No, every single one of them. Almost, mo most of them I'd never seen before. Cool. My buddy John Council took me down there and oh. showed me all the fish. And, you bring some uh -huh. of the fish home with you? Is that what? No, we just <laughs> photographed them. What is this yep. guy here? You... This was a fish, a largemouth bass that I painted. Where it's nice to have the actual fish right there, so you can look at the details and. Uh, and who is this? My um, mom was a big inspiration for me. She uh, helped me get, you know, my career off the ground. And this is my biggest uh, licensing deal to date. I signed a contract with Nautica Clothing. They're coming out with a line of clothing with my images on them. So that's going to be worldwide, I think in like 15 different countries. So that's exciting. Thank you so much for sharing all this with us. Thanks. And have yeah, a great nice to meet you. pleasure. All right. It's been Rochelle Bear with Nick Mayer from Artmos.